Hey guys, it's Mr. Rakowski at Central Cabrera's High School Guidance Office. Um, I want to make this short video with an update to Career and College Promise classes for next year at Rowan Cabrera's. Um, today's Tuesday, March 31st, uh, 2020. I want to make this video and talk about um, and answer some questions that I imagine that you have at this point like when will things happen and who does what in the process of applying uh, for Rowan Cabrera's classes. I want to talk about the student process and what you need to do. I want to talk about the counselor process and what I or your counselor is going to do uh, in your application and to get you registered for classes. And then lastly, talk about a timeline and when those things need to happen or are going to happen or will happen um, to get you registered for those CCP classes. Okay, so first let's talk about the student process and what you need to do um, to get yourself applied and select classes, register for classes, and then lastly get them into your Central Cabarrus uh, schedule. So the first thing I want to mention is you really need to do at this point two things and one is apply for CCP classes and complete the student agreement form online. Now both of these items are linked inside of the Canvas course that we've created for you uh, so you can access all the information that you really need inside the Canvas class but probably the most important things at this point are that you apply and that you do the student agreement form. Okay. Later, we're going to ask you to complete another thing called a user agreement. But don't worry about that now. We will push that out later before the school year ends. Um, and it really is important. I mean, today's uh, March 31st. It's really important that you go ahead and complete this application and start the process because the sooner that you do this, the better. Registration is happening now. So especially for online classes, we want to get you in into the system and get you registered as quickly as we can. So once you have completed your application and completed the student agreement form, your counselor is notified that those things are there at Rowan Cabrera so that we can proceed. And what we do is we submit online a, few, a couple things, your transcript, uh, which is all your credits and your grades and they need to really see your GPA is what they're looking for. They want to make sure that you have the GPA, which is an unweighted 2.8 GPA to be eligible for CCP classes. Uh, so we submit that and then we also submit a, an approval form and basically that's uh, confirming that you have that GPA um, and we upload your transcript with it. Okay, the, the third thing that we need to do is then once we've submitted these is to turn around and tell Rowan Cabarrus what classes you want for the summer if you're a rising senior or what classes you want for the fall. Spring doesn't open, registration doesn't open until October, so we'll kind of do this all thing all over again in October. But your counselor needs to know what classes you want for summer and fall. And that includes details. That includes details like, do you want online classes? Do you want seated classes? What are the seated classes? What time, what date? And if you're really not sure what to pick, reach out to your counselor, email them, and um, they'll probably arrange to call you or to do some kind of a, um, a meeting with you to look at and review classes and help you make those selections. Then we send those over to the college and they enroll you in those classes. Now I've highlighted down here, made in bold, online class registration is really a priority at this point because those seats fill up fast. So your counselor really needs to know um, if you're going to do seated or you're going to do online, what are those classes? And so that we can push that over to Rowan Cabarrus and get you into those classes. So lastly, here is a timeline of how everything needs to go, um, ideally, so that once the school year start next, starts next year, 
you have those classes, you're registered for them, and you're ready to go. So the first item is um, what's happening right now in here in March slash April is again, you're applying, you're doing the student agreement form, you're telling your counselor what you want to register for, and we're registering you for classes. Sometime in May, and, and originally this was, I think, supposed to be May um, 20th, no, 6th, um, you all were supposed to receive your schedules for next year. So that's been delayed, obviously, with what we're dealing with right now. That's been delayed. So probably as soon as we get back to school, sometime after that, you will receive your schedule. That schedule that you receive will not have your CCP classes in it yet. Um, but by June 12th, and that's when the day, the last day is supposed to be of school, um, <clears throat> you should have met with your counselor by that point once we've returned and added those classes into your schedule for next year. Okay. Um, so that's the timeline. And then lastly, um, you'll have it in your schedule before school ends at the end of the year. And then lastly, sometime in August, not sure when, probably mid-August, there will be an orientation. Now, whether that's including whether you're doing online classes, seated, cosmetology, welding, nurse aid, whatever program, whatever type of classes, you're going to have an orientation. And that is very, very important for you to get um, your information about getting into your Rowan Cabrera's email and being able to log in and go into what's called Blackboard. That's their version of Canvas. It's their online class. And even if you're taking a seated class, there's probably a Blackboard portion of it. So it, this orientation, that information will come later. Um, and we'll push that out to you as soon as we know more about that. And you'll have to sign up for that. Okay. So guys, hopefully this, um, video was helpful for you to kind of see what's happening, who does what, when are things happening, when are they going to happen. Um, so hopefully that clarifies and helps you with things and hope, hoping that you guys are doing well. We counselors have um, been talking about all this and we know that this is important to you and it's important to us too, um, but we hope that y'all are doing well. Okay, take care.